Hey guys, uh, back from Portugal. Earlier today, we had a chance to see the M235i uh, as well as the M235i with the M performance parts. And now we're actually back into a uh, 220 diesel Grand Coupe. Uh, this one, it's actually the front wheel drive. Uh, it doesn't have the X drive on it. And it still features the M Sport package. It's just not as uh, aggressively styled as the uh, M235i. So you can see the front grille has a different approach, vertical slats compared to the uh, mesh grille that you saw on the M235i, which is similar to the M135i and also the uh, M40i M Performance models that we have seen like the Z4 or the M340i. So if you're looking for a more uh, traditional kinney grille, this will be the one. Some of you do like the mesh uh, grills and others don't, so you have a choice. Of course, if you get the M235i, you only have the option of a mesh grill. Three quarter view, I would say probably the best view on the car. You can see that coupage roof line, which is typical to a four door coupe. There is a uh, new interpretation of the Hofmeister King, the iconic BMW design element. So they've taken a different approach here. It's kind of differently sculpted here. It's more of a 3D shape. Uh, it's definitely not your traditional Hofmeister King that you might have seen on uh, older BMWs, but it's uh, apparently it's a new interpretation to bring it up to speed with the new design language. If you go in the back, this is where you know people are starting to complain a little bit more. It has a um, very squarish approach, a quite tall boot. Um, of course, you know with that you're also getting a decent trunk space, so that's one of the positives. You're still getting the uh, some sort of an L-shaped tail light. It's not as pronounced as on other cars but they do uh, wrap around the hips and they stretch almost, you know, the entire width of the trunk. Let's take a look at this rear three quarter view. Now if we move to the side, we're gonna be able to get another view of this new design language. Clearly the design is controversial on the car. Uh, it's something that uh, you know people have been complaining about since they've seen it in photos. So it's one of those cars that you either love it or you don't. I've actually had a conversation with uh, some of the BMW designers and I was told that the packaging on this car, you know, makes it a little bit difficult to play around with the with the design language, uh, the proportions have to be uh, kept in place. So uh, it's not as easy as you know designing an M car, which you know has to be very sporty. So you have a lot of more freedom there to um, to express your uh, design. Uh, this one is a little bit more constrained, so you have to work with that particular packaging. I would say they uh, both the M two thirty five I and the regular uh, Grand Coupe. Uh, look quite nice. I do like the mesh grille on the uh, M Performance car. Uh, it makes it a little bit more different, special. And uh, of course, you know, when you drive the cars, they will be uh, quite different as well. Speaking of the driving experience, we will have a new video coming up, which will talk about that. We had a chance to really, really push the M235i and uh, we will share those impressions with you in the upcoming video. As always, please subscribe to our channel and we thank you for your support and we'll see you soon. Thank you.